Welcome back. In the start of the course, you've been watching me picking information from tables that are really weird. They begin with a V$ something, like V$ SGA info, V$ process, V$ data file. And my only promise was, don't worry about that. We shall look at that. And this is the right time to begin looking at that. When we use V$ log file, V$ log file, V$ process, we are working with what we call the metadata. Metadata simply means data about database or data about data. Sometimes we need to know a lot of things about the database. For example, we need to know how many users are in the database. Who are those users? What is their username? Which data, which table spaces were assigned to them? ETC. Information like running processes. We need to know what are those running processes. We need to know the locations of different files. Sometimes it is so hard because Oracle has a lot of files and folder and whenever you need that information we are interested in what we call the metadata data about the database oracle really provides a better way of providing this information to us in form of views when we start with something like v dollar we are going to see things like dba underscore user underscore tables these are called virtual tables or views. If you're familiar with SQL, you may have come across a term called views. A view simply means it's a virtual table. It is picking information from another table, but it keeps on changing dynamically. We don't need to know about that for now. We just need to know that these are views or virtual tables. We have two types of views in Oracle. We have what we call the data dictionary views and the dynamic performance views. These are the two views that provide us with information about the database. Let us start with the data dictionary views. If you remember so well, they are stored in a table space we call system. What the, what the data dictionary views do, they provide us information about the database and its objects. When we talk about the database objects, we mean users, tables. These data dictionary views start with something like DBA underscore, all underscore, and user underscore and they are always in plural form when you say dba underscore or all underscore or user underscore the underscore is followed by the object we are interested in for example we can say we are interested in tables and we shall be saying dba underscore tables if you are interested in users we can say dba underscore users it is seen the moment you say dba underscore and then the object comes next whether a table or users it means we need all the information about that object that has been specified for example if we need to know how many tables or for example if we need to know all the tables available in the database we shall say dba underscore tables or we shall say select star from dba underscore tables if we say all underscore we mean return all the objects return all the specified objects belonging to a particular user plus those they have access to for example if we say dba underscore tables for example we may have a user called brian brian has his own tables he created but brian can also be given access to tables belonging to to aisha now when we say all underscore then the tables we mean return all the tables belonging to Brian plus those tables he has been given access to. And in this case, Aisha's tables. So we shall be looking at Brian's tables in addition to Aisha's table because he has access to those tables. But when we say user underscore, we mean return the specified object belonging to only a particular user. For example, when you say user underscore tables, we mean return only tables belonging to Brian. This time when we use user underscore tables, Aisha's tables won't be returned. So that is how we use data dictionaries. Let's take a look. Let's use an example that we need to know the users available in the database. We could easily say select username from DBA underscore users. So when I run, you can see that I have 25 users in my database. We can get other things from this table. We can describe it like another table. Maybe we are interested in the username and the account status. So we are interested in the username, account status, and the default table space that was assigned to these users. So when we run, you can see that we have a number of users there. So we can easily know that this account is open, this account is closed. That information can be provided to us with the help of data dictionary views. Let me connect to HR account and we have a look at HR has his own tables as well as tables he was given access to. So we, in order to look at these tables, we have connected as HR. All tables meaning, I'll be given a list of tables he's owning, as well as those he has access to. So when I run, we can easily say, 
that HRR owns and has access to 87 tables. But if you are interested in knowing how many tables out of the 87, how many tables are really belonging to HR, we are going to modify the query. Rather than choosing all underscore tables, let us choose user underscore tables just to return his own tables. And when you run, we can see that indeed HR owns 16 tables only out of the 87. And the balance of 87, he just has access to those tables. So we get this information by using the data dictionary views. Apart from the data dictionary views, we also have something we call the dynamic performance views. We have used this one so often. And indeed, I always comforted you that don't worry, time is coming when we need to understand this. And this is the right time. So we are having the dynamic performance views. These views provide us with information about the database and its performance. We need to know maybe what are the running processes in the background. What is the, what is the status of a given log file? What is the status of control file, etc. These views are always written in singular format and we have been using them so often. Whenever you see bid dollar process, we are working with something called the dynamic performance views and they provide us with information about the database performance and database. Just as a recap, let us remind ourselves how we use the bid dollar process. We have connected as administrators so we can easily run the command. So we can describe this view and we just get the, and we just get columns we are interested in. I'm interested in knowing the program and maybe the background. So when you run this command, you can see that we have a lot of them. We really have a lot of the background processes. We saw this command when we are looking at the Oracle architecture background processes. So this is how I can also pick information from the V dollar SGA info, like the one we saw when you are looking at the memory structures. It provides us with information about the memory allocation. So these dynamic performance view, they really provide us with information about the, about the database performance. That was it for this section. We meet in the next.